Another investigation in Stutzman County, this time issues with the way the state's attorney is treating female employees. Condescending, demoralizing, demeaning. They're just a few of the accusations and the accusing words described from employees working under Stutzman County State's Attorney Frederick Fremgen. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. Fremgen's accused of harassment and creating a hostile work environment. Valley News Team's Christine Stanwood is here to bring us much more information on this investigation. So, Christine, what can you tell us? Stephanie, the incident report is 14 pages long and filled with claims from employees working under Fremgen, better known as Fritz. In this report, five female victims came forward against Fremgen, a report, report filed with claims of sexism, sexual harassment, and treating staff like children. One employee claims that she wet the bed at night after she dreamt about Fremgen yelling at her. Another employee says she broke out into hives and vomited after an episode with the attorney. Employees say they've tried to get outside help about this harassment, but say no one was willing to look into the claims because he's an elected official. One employee says Fremgen was a controlling man, saying, quote, when you're new and submissive, you're his pet. Another shocking claim comes from an employee saying he would put her down about her weight, comment about how to exercise and what to eat. And more than one employee says working under Fremgen was like walking on eggshells. Here's what Casey Bradley, the auditor for the Stutzman County Sheriff's Office, has to say about what allegedly happened. That was pretty alarming to see what was all going on. I don't see this as a, a culture issue or anything like that with the county. We strive not to have these kinds of issues, and when they do, we try to be very proactive in addressing them quickly. Fremgen has not commented on any of these allegations against him. I left him a message with the state's attorney's office, but I have not heard back. Let me remind you that the law enforcement center in Stutzman County houses the sheriff's office, the police department, courthouse, and state's attorney's office. Earlier this month, we reported on an investigation into claims of the misuse of property. And now, this harass harassment investigation, it's all under one roof. In the wake of Frem Fremgen's alleged harassing, his office will be moved to the first floor of the law enforcement center. Stephanie? All right, Christine, thank you. Now, investigators concluded there was no criminal activity conducted here. However, there are infractions in the Stutzman County personnel policy. According to Auditor Bradley, the incident would normally prompt Fremgen's termination from his position, but because he's an elected official, it's not possible to fire him. So it's been suggested that Fremgen receive coaching by the Village Business Institute of Fargo, and now this case is considered closed.